And welcome to Northern Germany. Hello from the Volkspark Stadion in the great city of Hamburg. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's the founders versus the four kits. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Now, this could be productive. Not a particularly strong challenge. And drawing it back. And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Will he play it in? Just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game. What a commitment to defending. And the lineup for the full kits. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Marlin. And pull back. Well, that was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is, it wasn't on target. Dina Ebambe. Anton Stach. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Not all that convincing defensively. And successfully cut out. Vinicius Jr. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. Daniel Malin. Can he play it in? Is it going to be? And a goal! To open the scoring! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. 1-0 then. Vinicius Junior. That's useful play. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And teammates around her. And able to close down the shots. Well, maybe an opportunity from the corner for full kits to get right back into this match. And nodding it just over. Well, once he gets his head on it, that's a chance, I think. Raum. Might be able to set up the chance. Opportunity. A goal! Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, 2-0 now. Can he do it? The save was a good one. They favoured a short one here. It might be on for them. He's blocked it! Well, time just challenged magnificently. 
Nice looking move, this. Big chance. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, they restart the game, and it's been all founders so far. You sense there could be further punishment dished out. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And the referee blows the whistle. That is all for the first 45 here at the Hamburger Volksparkstadion. Second half underway with the founders very much bossing this one. Looking cross. Well, the header was respectable, but the goalkeeper always seemed to have it covered. Günther Anton Stach Vital intervention It has to be Sound piece of goalkeeping Günther Josip Stanisic Piero Incapié Well, great read there to intercept. Good high press. Will he finish? Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. 30 minutes to go then. And the full kits unable to retain possession. In Capier. Dina Ebambe. Well, the pass not finding its target. Couldn't hang on to it again. Josip Stanisic. Malen with it. And sloppy in possession from the founders. Trying to open up the defence. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Well, she has called the play back and it will be a free kick. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Comes to nothing in the end. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. Suat Serdar. Vinicius Junior. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. 
Günther. Marlin. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Just going to be a double substitution. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attacking play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. And we've entered the final five minutes. David Raum. Anton Stach. Can they take advantage? Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Now, how about the short corner? Looking for a teammate. Dangerous ball. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.